Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and through this video I'm just gonna explain how can you execute any command inside running docker container with the help of a docker module of a python programming language so basically this is going to help you to automate the task in case you want to execute any command inside any running container so with for the basic use of this docker module i have already published two videos and i have already provided a link into the description so if you would like to see those two videos that would be helpful for you to understand how this docker module works but if you are pretty much familiar and you are already interested in seeing how you can code how you can use this docker module to execute any specific command in any specific container then you can skip those two videos so without any further delay let's get into the coding part so i'm just gonna go uh, this is just a code which i have written in previous in last two videos uh, but let me just start uh, another one where i can just see exec command demo okay so the very first thing which you have to do is there is a docker module named docker and if you are new to this video and you haven't watched my previous two videos then just this module is not comes with a default python installation so all you need is pip install docker to have this module installed i have already installed it so i don't need to worry about that the other thing is you have to just create a docker client object to create a docker client object all you need is inside this docker there is a from in function that you need to call so what it's going to do is uh, you will be having a docker if your docker is installed on the same machine then it will just go to the default location and pick from there but if you have a docker installed on any remote server and you want to just connect with the docker server then you have to provide a bunch of information with some lower level of classes uh, that docker client inside this docker but that is not something which i'm going to cover here because the intention here is to just let you know how you can just execute any given command inside any running container so now you have a docker client object and then what you can do is just to make it very generic what i'm going to do is i'm just going to extract all the containers and let's assume that uh, I have a bunch of Postgres container and I want to execute and let's let's assume I want to create the table on all the, all the instances. I want to insert something and I want to delete something or I want to update on all those containers. So let me see if I'm having any containers running at the moment. Okay, there is nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this code of mine which is going to create three containers post this instance one two and three so let me just run this before so what this program is gonna do for us uh oh, oh so Okay, so if I just put the OBS now, okay, now I have two. So you can see now we have three containers, Postgres instance one, two, and three. Uh, so let's assume that I want to create a table uh, inside all these Postgres instances. How can I do that, right? So for doing that, uh, let's assume I have a command. I'm just going to use a string. I want to create a table named test and I think I have a create statement here. I can just copy this part. Okay. So I just wanted to create a table name with test ID this duck duck duck. Yes, this looks good. And let me just put a create command here. And if I want to run, if I want to create, you know, um, table on all the Postgres instances, then the only thing which I have to do is I'm just gonna reiterate to all the containers I am having in the container list so let me just say is variable container list container list so one by one i'm just gonna get all the container objects right so the only thing which you have to do is you have to call this function name 
container dot grant and this expect bunch of you know flags but right now we just need to provide the command where i am having a query and then i have to just save the result of this and then print result let's see what happens okay so this is let me just run cls python tech. Mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna run this so i'm just getting some error create executable file not found OCI runtime exec, exec failed, postgres detector. Oh, now I know why it is failing. It is failing because directly I'm just executing the query. Uh, so first I have to get inside the container and then I have to just connect to the postgres and that is, that's the part which is missing here. So what I have to do is I have to just put a username which is the default one I'm gonna use which is postgres and then I have to put this query So this is the command. Uh, so first I'm just gonna get connected to the Postgres DB and then I want to execute this command. So that's the reason I'm saying dash C. And now this time it should work. Uh, let me just run this. Now, now you can see the create table has been done. So this output shows me that this has been done successfully. Okay, so the next thing which I wanted to show you, let's assume that I want to insert a record into the same table. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the insert command from here it is. Okay, so I'm just going to put this insert command here. Okay. And rather than using single code, I have to use double code because single code is already there inside its values. I'm not uh, explaining this insert statement because I'm assuming that you are pretty much aware of these insert statement. Okay, so I just created another variable and this time I wanted to insert this record in all the Postgres instances. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now I can see the record has been inserted. There is no error. And let's assume if I want to select the records. So what I can do is I can insert a star from test okay so rather than running insert i can put select and if i run it i should be able to see the records which i have inserted select command is not defined mm -hmm. okay i didn't change the name select okay so i just run this time Okay, so it seems like it is able to extract the record. You can see we are seeing the zero and Abhishek Jain, which are inserted on all the instances. So now we have covered that. I mean, how we can create the table, how, but this is Postgres, and that's the reason you are using this PSQL minus your Postgres to make the connection, and then you are running that query. Similarly, if you want to run any command to any of the container, right, you just need to use this exit grant, and then you have to provide whatever the command you want to run inside that container. Similarly, you can create your update query, your delete query, and you can just use the same piece of code and you are done. So that's it from my side, which I wanted to cover in this video, but it's very powerful and you can just automate a lot of stuff if you are in DevOps world or if you are in a testing world, right? So thanks for watching this. If you have any feedback or comment uh, or any suggestion through which I can improve my videos quality, just feel free to put that in the comment section and I would do my best to incorporate those suggestions in the feedback. So as always, thanks for watching this. Stay healthy and keep learning a new